Fort Grander. This will be juicy. My thank you so much. Departing from the Great Bridge of Murden, the Alliance Army marches south toward Envar, the Imperial capital. As an unknown military force begins their advance under the banner of the kingdom, the Imperial Army dispatches forces from Fort Mercius with the intention of intercepting them. The curtain is rising on a conflict between the three armies, which will come to be known as the Battle at Grander, held on the same plains that witnessed the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Clearly, this field has seen horrible days in the past. Yep. Is it just that pristine and, well, not pristine, but that vast and that preferable for battlefields? To war at Grander. Now, is this fog? Nope. There's Dudu and Dimitri. <laughs> the exact same layout as oh, but last have, time. But they have monsters on there. Yeah, they sides. got monsters, but like... And a fortress. Ah, uh, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, X and Claude, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, for starters, we need... Lysithia, and where's my wall? There's my wall. There's Leone. Grab Flane. Dad. Should probably grab Orbital Bombardment. Realistically, having people from both of their factions would be funny. It would be just funny. Just to see what they say. I don't know if they're going to say much of anything. Mm -hmm. Who else? I'm trying to go for horsemen, because effectively... Oh. Interesting question. Hmm? I gotta check something real quick. Map. Are they yellow? Oh, they are yellow. So we might not necessarily be opposed to them here. Oh, so they might be another army that could ally themselves with the Ariad Bar. Where what? Oh, yeah. His weapon is a crest of bladed. Atrocity. Double attacks. Oh. My lord and armored lord. She She's is the crest of flames and the minor crest of Saros. Oh, the minor crest of Saros. And wait, how does she have the crest of flames? Uh, she got it from Nemesis, probably. So, are you a Edelgard's. Are you a relative no. to her? No. Chances are because she she's allied with those who slither in the dark. Uh, Do they. Did they give her those crests? Because I thought she didn't Possibly. have those before. There, there's a very real possibility extra funky bonus stuff is going on. Were they collecting crests to concoct a means to give her the crests? Maybe. Okay, so now we should probably pair off some friend friendship business. Uh, let's see. Or did they take the crest of Saros from Rhea and just... No, no, no. Crest of Saros was passed down through House Hares Velg or whatever it is. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we should give Leone Alois. But how did she get the Crest of Flames? I thought she didn't have it. She didn't. She which didn't. means something's someone something found funky a way is going to... on. Mm -hmm. Uh, Leone. Oh, right. I can only give her Caspar and Cyril because I have to put Alois on a flyer. Well, that's inconvenient. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That, that's annoying. Um, 
Well, I suppose that answers my question as to well, who's Raphael need? why she called herself the Flame Emperor. Ingrid. If her aim was to... Well, wait a minute. Did they succeed in taking the stone from the sword then? Or have another means to oh, yeah, grab it? Possibly. Is Claude not supported yet? Shamir, Annette... Oh, we should probably just bring... Oh, wait, no, no. We can't bring Lorenz or anybody along with Claude. I forget. I'll be back. Wow, it really is just... Killed in Felix. There's flyers. I have a lot of flyers. So who can... Hilda. Hilda and Ferdinand? Who killed in Ferdinand? And... Who's the last one? Felix. Who can Felix friend? Uh, let's grab Annette, probably. Also grab Ash. But I want to work on some of these things. Plus, Annette needs EXP anyway. There's Annette, there's Annette. Okay. Now map. So Felix is pretty much just gonna bum rush Dimitri and try and talk to him. Okay. That there. That there. Please don't stand right in front of me. Okay, that should be good. And save. Oh, right. I should probably check inventories. I'm not terribly worried here. I just tripped over my pant leg. Oh, I thought you tripped over one of the cords, and I'm no, like, that's worrying. No, I tripped. It was, my pant leg was swishing around. This, these are my pajama pants. And my big toe on the opposing foot caught it as I was stepping forward. So I tripped a couple steps, and then I regained my, my composure. That was harrowing. Okay, should be good. Fight. Tear your heads from your shoulders. The dead must have their tribute. As big class reunions go, this one's got to be the worst in history. Years ago, we fought here as classmates. But not today. Last one of them! I will crush anyone who blocks my path. Dimitri, he's alive. But he doesn't look interested in joining forces with us. It would not be advantageous to take on both at once. We must stop the Kingdom and the Alliance from joining forces. I will create such chaotic warfare that they won't be able to tell who is friend and who is foe. What's my strategy? Okay. So, question is... Yeah, I'm gonna race these two up to I'll Dimitri. Mm-hmm. Bring Flane along. Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, we've heard this song before, but this is the, like, hyped-up version. Can I put her right there? I can't. Inconvenient. Oh, well. Delivery! Shall we? 
Well, I gave her a hammer for a reason. Should probably upgrade this hammer. Sorry, but it's you or me. Okay, who else do we got? More fighting. We also have a meteor or two that we could drop. Probably don't. Nah. Wait on that one. Now, do we have bonus? No, we don't actually have bonus range. But that's fine. Iron bow. Still, not quite enough, but his crit chance is pretty high. Uh, let's bet on it. Nope, no betting. Well, that's fine. Hey, more training bows for the bowman. <laughs> yeah, last time I did, didn't really have a whole lot of flyers. This time I've got a lot of flyers. Should make getting, uh, interrupting this whole business a lot easier. My orders? Mm -hmm. Feel a bit bad for Raphael. Oh, the Pegasus is really pretty. Leave it to me. Yep. Will be. I it's a Pegasus. Is... It's just got a horn and this one has a falcon. Horn. Oh, she's summoning them from the ether. Who knows? Oh, right. Skipping. Oh, don't skip. That's okay. I can, uh, we can go back. Wait. Oh. So nothing happened? There we go. Mounted unit. Oh. Those aren't mounted units. What are you talking about? Well, I didn't even see any mounted units off. come from off screen. I'm um, assuming oh, those yeah, guys those to the guys. right. Yes. Oh, well, that gives Raphael something to do. Don't get used to this. Oh, an eh. an ink debuff of some sort. What's my strategy? I'll cut through. Onward. We don't rescue around More here. Fighting. That's rather good. Okay, we have attack, we have meteor. Let's just physic her. Leave it to me. Okay, so Raphael is in a perfect position to give give Let's them a smack. Hey, honestly, she's probably fine. Assist, warp. We warp her all the way up here. That would leave her fairly exposed, wouldn't it? Eh, not for long. It's just she's never gonna make it to the meat of the battlefield there otherwise. Are in the central area. We need to head there immediately to protect it. Shall we? Like I said, she's not gonna be on her own for very long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Elder still got wooden axes. It was a team effort. <laughs> Even like, I still love how Hilda's heavily armored and a heavy hitter, uh, despite her reluctance arms, to participate in combat blast. throughout the entire game. It's, uh, there we go. Oh, you're using the ballista. Awesome. Yeah, Claude can use it from there. Impressive as always. Your ability up. Guide me well. Perfect. Oh hey, look, Hubert's over there. Ah, let's I wonder not get if we'll too close to that. Gambit. Actually, fell him for the last time. Yeah, I wonder if we actually do legit kill him here. We probably do. My orders. Right, that's actually what we want Leone for. I would assume that if we don't kill Edelgard here and now, that at least the rest of her units would fall. I'm assuming we probably would have fought many of the other many of the other students imperial students Sorry, like over the like course of the last couple of missions maybe mm -hmm. I don't know this is one of those where I doubt I'm ever gonna find out because I'm probably just gonna go on a crazy recruitment spree whenever uh, like for my new game plus runs mm-hmm Got crit. Yeah, for like a damage. Not the greatest. Unfortunately, these guys have obscene, obscene damage, which is why we have. 
Imperial army is starting to crumble. We will step on the Empire right along with the Alliance troops. To the eternal flames with all of them! Oh. What? We're doing most of the work. They haven't even... Well. Is there no way to appeal to them? Apparently not. Or do you have to crush the Empire without hurting any of their units? Or is it impossible to avoid them? I'm really curious about that, actually. Because what if you... What if you... Continue to fight taking the Empire out Edelgard and took out Edelgard before... Without taking out Dimitri would just be confusing. We could try it, though. That's gonna take some fandangling, though. Shouldn't you leave, uh... Claude on the... No. Ballista? Because everybody's too... Too heavily armored. Mm-hmm. I think it's not gonna do me any good. Sorry, but it's you or me. I yeah, mean, you're with gonna, one exception. You're just gonna have to worry about your second. flank. Can I just assassinate Hubert? Hubert's to the right, right there. Yep, you could. You're interfering with the plan. Looks like I'll just have to get rid of you. Nope. Say the same for you, Buster. Fighting on will endanger my life. Your Majesty, I must withdraw. Nah, he escapes again. Damn it. No need to worry. We still have some troops left. So long as I stand, we won't give up. This might be dangerous. Probably not. He's got a bow. He's real scary. Uh, let's see. Okay. Leone. Could use the ballista, but that's a terrible idea. So, you might have to defend yourself against Dimitri's troops, but how are you going to prevent him from, well, if he attacks you, he would essentially be slaying himself in the process. Pretty much. I'm trying to figure this one out here. Okay. This should work. Do Thoron, but I don't think we need to. Winning is what matters. I'm gonna push really hard for... on the Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, that's interesting. Your I won't allow it. your HP bars are Heaven. are blue. It yeah. I am so impressed. Yeah. Your arrow is still yellow, and your. Because I think I we had heard that if you choose one of the other factions, the color is different. I'm going to start running these guys the other way. Hopefully we can outrun... Can she teleport? Retrospects. It would have been better to have gotten them out of the way first. Depends on how fast Dimitri can even move. What is his movement speed? Five. So, we should be okay. But now you have to worry about those horsemen. Mm -hmm. Uh, not that much. I don't know if that helps. you'll be barred from allying with him if you even kill one of his units. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab... Let's she should probably keep up with... Claude. And she should probably use a spear. Okay, who else can't move? So I should probably leave X here for the time being. Mm -hmm. until... Stand at the side of the bridge. Yeah. Because Claude should probably have no trouble taking out Edelgard on his own. But she's going to be using an ancient weapon. A relic. Oh, yeah. Well... Claude is just... Claude is my highest level character. <laughs> and very strong, so I'm not too worried about it. And he's got Leone for support. Pegasus versus Pegasus. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I made Leone a Falcon Knight. It was worth the uh, the extra trouble. Mm -hmm. Ow. Oh, right. 
Oh no, Dorothea! I still have more to do after all. As she got around. You know what? We're just gonna casual that. I could go back. I don't know. What do you think? I knew it wasn't good to have her in the middle of there. I didn't realize that one character could move that freaking far. It was a... It was a roguish character. Mm-hmm. The problem is you'd have to go back a fair distance to Not save Not that Dorothea. far. I just turn off... Uh... Turn off what? Well, I could just no. turn off animations for like one round. Uh... I mean, I've got time travel for a reason. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna take too much. So it would just be right here. Okay, so I think the only difference that I need to do is I need to use a different spell. And I need to kill somebody else. Okay, so we're gonna switch to Nose for Audio. Still kills this guy. But we need to make sure that Hilda and Sedith kill these guys. I think it'll be fine. Wow, that is a spooky person. They were the ones issuing the orders. It's fine. I I think this is all I needed to do to ensure her survival. Mm-hmm. Because now Sedith will be able to block. No. Uh, what's going to happen is she's still going to go around and hit Dorothea. What I could do is I could move Le Leonie in there, but no. This should guarantee her survival is the real answer. Uh, let's see. We need her to use the training lance. Wait. Uh, let's see. Onward. Honestly, would it be faster to just go this way? I'm just going to do that. Most of those guys are slow. I'm just going to have Felix go his own way. Strategy. We're just going to run here. Okay. Let's make this quick. Leave it to me. Oh, probably should have rallied. Okay. I won't so, done deal. Okay. I'm done not deal. Here. Beast attacks him. Yep. Make I really wish that assassin would attack sooner in it, but I guess it wouldn't matter. How about a curtsy? Leone just destroys everyone. Okay. Okay. So, she does that. Oh. As long as she doesn't miss, we're good. Oh, because she chose not Nosferatu, she got her health back. Exactly. Oh. I'm sorry, it's got to be like this. You should have seen that coming. And Raphael just more or less horse punches his way to victory. Mm hmm Uh, they're getting close, but yeah, not close My enough. My main worry. We'll see. Well, we don't know if this is a situation where there's no way you can avoid I'm, fighting. I'm mostly just curious. And... For now. I, I'm mostly just curious if I can take out. Uh, It'll guard before even touching Dimitri and his troops. Well, I mean, you've already slain some of his troops, but that couldn't have oh, been avoided. Oh, she moves this time. Wait, what? Might not be so bad, though. She's very scary. She is very scary. I wouldn't get too close. Well, I gotta get close. But, no, this is a bad idea. You need to take out all the other units first. Nah, nobody else can hurt Claude. A fitting outcome. Like, straight up, my units are... You still haven't For killed that reference, beast. Claude is... The beast still has two health bars. Yeah. Run. Probably go right here. Uh, let's see. Nope. Too far for that. Okay. Actually, hold on. Where can she go? Nosferatu. Oh, that would kill her. No, it's not worth it. Uh, what I want to do is know something that's um, 
vulnerable enough. I mean, I guess she's got the most amount of HP. Gimme. Eh. Yeah. It's the only option it's you have. Or die. Those fools who went up the hill will pay with their lives in the crimson flames. Oh. Owie. It's on fire now. Well. Shouldn't matter too much. Well, you should get Sedeth and Dorothea off of it. I think it's silly that she activates her flame trap when there's only two people standing on it, whereas before there were a good, I would say, five to seven. That's another one. Well, let's see. Oh, and Sedeth is stuck there. Stuck? Yeah, for a round. In that case, there's Dorothea. Go back here. Dorothea, I move her right here. She'll be fate. We She'll be fine. Four on. Yeah. Will this ever end? No wait. Oh. No, I shouldn't have. Did. I should have moved Sedith first. So if you move Sedith, then kill that yeah. unit. So is it when there's no none of her own units on there? No, it's when you kill that general. Ah. There's a treasure chest back there. Yep. Uh, There's probably a treasure chest on the other side, too. Uh, Is this the final act? I give up caring. Oh. Well, shoot. My Wait, what? It didn't... didn't... Didn't kill her that time. But then... But then... Leonie's gonna get stuck on there. Here. What are you doing? Those fools... Chest is a lampo shield. What's my strategy? So you're just gonna let Leone burn? Eh. Okay, so it nullifies extra effectiveness against horses. That is not Onward. terribly bothersome. Leave it to me. Let's make this oh, quick. she's still got a warp, yeah? No, she doesn't have any more warps. Mm hmm Ah, because they wasted it on frivolous things, probably. And have her run. Let's see. What is her? Yeah, she should have nose for audio. There. Okay, who's left? Through. Felix. Oh, Felix. Good luck, Felix. Run for the hills. Oh, nope. She goes down anyway. She dies. Right. I knew that she would get slugged by the giant monsters. Yeah. You always leave her vulnerable. Well... Can't afford to lose. I mean, I don't have too much of a choice in this situation. I see. He healed up. Oh, they're able to attack? The flyer, yeah. Yeah, the flyer, yeah. Across the river. Okay. Wait, why are you going back? Back to Dorothea. Well, now you went back to... Okay. Oh, Is you went back that far? That's not very far. Wait, but Yoink. now she's gonna burn. I should not. She does... Wander, you can't go back in time. Every what, time? What if you need these the time skips? I'm not. I'm not going to need, need them. I drop a meteor on this lady. I mean, it kills her. So the problem is the the beast. My orders. Well, it gets another HP bar down. 
that actually works out. In like a weird, twisted, bizarro fashion. Well, both of those beasts can't get by Leone, right? Or they still could. Okay, it doesn't look like they can get past here. I'm not sure about that guy. That's my worry. Anyway, that has a higher chance of success. There she goes. There's no one there. Okay. My main What's fear Hilda is... What's doing? Oh. I don't actually know what he's doing. No, Hilda. What's my strategy? She hasn't moved in a while. The Hilda's very slow. I moved her at the beginning of the round. Oh. Fortify. Oh. Wait, that would have been... Oh, that's that's the solution to the problem. Well, if if Dorothea dies again, we have one more easy solution here. Okay. Doesn't matter. Oh, right. And him. Okay. Let's try this again. Perfect ending. Okay, so let's see about this guy. Yep. He's doing flame breath on her. Misses. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Other enemy phase. I'm still really confused as to why... Why Dimitri has, like, a hate boner for the Alliance. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Like, I'm sure when I play the Dimitri... Well, at the same time, the Alliance broke off from the kingdom. So, there's probably some resentment there. Uh, did we? I thought I thought they broke off of the Empire, because they're both offshoots of the Empire. But but the Kingdom broke off of the Empire, and then I think the Alliance broke off of the Kingdom, uh, or something like maybe. that. It unfortunately gets a bit murky. There we go. Now Dorothy is no longer in danger. Sorry, it's gotta be like this. Hey, there's the Lampo shield. Oh. I have that guy there. Items, what is she using? Eh. I need it to be Seraphim. Now, I wonder if we defeat Edelgard, will Dimitri and Dudu and everyone flee and we would have missed out on a lot of experience points? I... Or will... Do I look like the kind of guy that needs EXP? <laughs> I'm just wondering. Ah, she's level 40 now. But at what cost? Guide me well. Okay. Not quite as much damage as I was going for, but that's okay. I'm not really trying to kill this thing. After ready. But you know what thing I am trying to kill? Stop, Edelgard. Oh well, that's uh, easy. Whoa, that's a little too easy. You're gonna see if she can fly all the way to the chest. Yep. Why are you waiting in the flames? Eh, it's not much damage. Yeah, cause I'd like to get that chest if I if I can get it. Uh, let's see. Probably kill this one. It's within her reach. So nothing over here. What's so within Natal Guard's reach? Fine. I guess I can use a training bow for this. Plink. We're all desperate, aren't we? Training bow broke. Okay, we've still got plenty of time. They're slow as butts. And Flane is Okay, that hurt Flane, but whatever. That was the last of their fast people. Mm hmm Oh, did I forget about Felix? Whatever. No. Felix going is down Felix. south. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh wow, she's absurdly fast. Flyers have the best movement. Oh, so you're having her trade the key. It's like a baton chain, pass. Da daisy chain and keys. We got another lamppost shield. Not really sure if I needed that, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. I guess next order of business. Destroy let's, that monster. Let's destroy that monster. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Training axe? Uh, not training axe. Something a bit more powerful. Uh, Just two more HP. Yeah, let's see. Get some other... We've got some other candidates. Uh, let's see. Rescue. Raphael. Raphael, get in there. Nice. That'll do the trick. Good EXP for Ingrid. Bad stat growth for Ingrid. Anyway. Good spot for Lysithia to absolutely demolish the thing. Wow. Look at this damage. <laughs> 189. That is a good crit. Alright. Well, except for rolling over the kingdom forces, which I totally could. Uh, but I'm not going to. I, I realize I'm probably going to lose it on EXP for this, but I really want to see what happens if I just don't touch. If you don't interact with Dimitri at all. Yeah. We haven't seen each other since Garrick Mach. You've grown lovelier than ever, Edelgard. You're not so unfortunate yourself. And you have the aid of the Professor. Frankly, I'm jealous. Now's the chance for you and the professor to leave. <laughs> I'm afraid I must decline. Even if we left, we just have to come right back. <laughs> so close. Hold a grudge if you must. Ah. <laughs> Stylish sucker. He even goes upside down to shoot the crit. <laughs> Just as expected, you aren't making my path an easy one. I must retreat for now. We'll meet again on the battlefield. Oh, and shoot. now you have to. Attack now I Dimitri? just have to straight up murder Dimitri. Well, better put the bad dog, uh, the mad dog down. Take a good look at Dimitri's weapon. Sure. This could turn the tides. It's a sweet looking spear thing. It just looks like it's an incomplete piece that's haphazardly tied onto a stick. I don't know, looks like a glaive to me. But in the in the cutscene it looked like he had it tied to the stick with cord. Oh. Uh, didn't know. You can't check his weapons? I thought you did before. Uh, yeah. No, you're right. I totally can. Please. I mean, then again, Edelgard's peculiar weapon only had the end of it glowing. Yeah. And I think even the axe that... Yeah, here's Relic. Crest of Blathed. Uh, Crest Bear can use Atrocity. Okay, so it's meant to... It, it begs the question, yeah, then... Because your sword in its entirety glows. But... I suppose most of the relic weapons that we've seen have been no wands or 
spears, axes, things where the blade is not the majority of the weapon. Yeah. Wow. I think and that I... worked into the pommel and the hilt and everything. I would like to comment that unlike the uh, the last time we did the battle at Grondor, mm -hmm. I got all of the kills. Are you trying to stop me too? Then I'll just have to kill you. Well, shit. What? Forgive me. My battle ends here. What? Can you turn back time or because you lost him, you lost him? Wander? Uh, no, I'm fine. We can turn back time. Okay. So that means... I gotta... Well, this sucks. Okay. So his danger zone is very What's important. My strategy? Meaning we want to move X to about right here. Uh, yeah, anyway. He hit, hits like a goddamn truck, which means we're going to nuke him into oblivion with probably Multiple Lysithia people. or something. No time to slow down. I've got options. They're awkward. I mean, we could just keep running away for a little while and, and bunch my entire forces up. But like, straight up, I think I just need to get the jump on him. But he did uh, 70 damage there. That was a lot. That was way more than I was expecting he would do. Accurately, too. I think he even crit. Which is... Quite impressive, suffice to say. My orders. I got skunked. Okay. But time magic. Time magic. Oh, he didn't crit. Okay, I thought I saw his face. It won't be in vain. Oh, you actually got damage there. Yeah. Well, X hasn't really gained many levels. Ooh, well now a, in a ton of people are in his while. range. Yeah, so the important one is him. So this time around, he's not going to do 60-something damage to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure why that happened. Anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see. Best option. Run Flane away a bit. Fortify. Okay. First and foremost, where's to do? I to do. There we go. Goodbye. In the name of His Highness, you die here. He got a substantial number of scars. He did. More so than anyone else I've seen. I can still fight, Your Highness. Shut up and retreat. You must live to do. Uh, let's see. Training lads. It'd be interesting to fight him with Felix, but that would have been tough. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it actually would have been doable. You ran away rather than and around the other side. Fine. Gambit. Oh, right. We don't have the artillery gambit. Uh... I guess I could have almost gotten Claude in here. But you know what? We'll kill him with X. With training gauntlets. Because that's Are embarrassing. You to stop me too? Then I'll just have to kill you. Oop. 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 Where are you, Ale God? I will not stop until I kill you. Oh, that looks like a co cohesive glaive. Mm -hmm. Now that's close up. Even in an ugly battle like this, it's important not to lose heart. We have to take pride in our victory. We did it, Teach. Now we can move forward to our victory. I noticed that sometimes the audio clips yep, out. It just loses phantom power. What? Oh, right, because he murdered an entire battalion of horses. 
largely off screen. <laughs> My thank you so much. So, Edelgard retreated. I suppose she lives to be defeated another day. That's fine. That's fine. I suppose a win is a win, regardless of the circumstance. Some of our allies are injured, but can still fight. We'll just have to accept this outcome and press onward. Still, the battlefield looks awful. And I wonder what became of the Kingdom Army and Dimitri. I saw him. Who? Dimitri? He was completely different from how I remember him. He looked like a crazed demon while he was fighting. He pursued Edelgard as she retreated, but he didn't get far before he collapsed. I saw him surrounded by Imperial troops and pierced by their what? spears. I'll never forget it. He deserved a better end. <sighs> Dimitri. He went through so much to make it here, only for his efforts to be in vain. I can't even begin to understand what Dimitri must have been feeling, but... So don't tell! Yeah, come on, game! I kicked his shit in! And I didn't, like, have the wherewithal to say, I don't know, break his legs? S knock him out? Carry him back with me? Tie him up? I would have rather that... Strap him to do When you defeated both of them, a cutscene would have shown... You know... I, I'm Dimitri actually legit kind of upset here, because Dimitri, this entire game, is just... He's not even... St straight up... I have seen no-name goons with more dignified deaths than that. I realize that's what they're saying here, but like... We barely ever saw him during the academy phase, except for when we were we pounding were, we his were never face in and stealing all of the students. Interacting with them in a meaningful way. Like, Granted, it would have been so much more compelling so. if he temp joins us. Like, we subdue him and his army, and he's like, fine, I'll work with you. But, you know, the moment we see Edelgard, I'm going after her. And so he never joins you as a unit. You can never, you can't min-max him. You can't use anything with him. Then the next battle, and then, then the he next dies. battle, he suicide rushes her and dies. Or I wouldn't even have minded if at the end of this battle, we defeat Edelgard and force her to retreat, and we defeat Dimitri and force him to retreat. But while the alliance is like licking their wounds, Dimitri is just crazed, runs off after Edelgard, and we have a cutscene of maybe even just. Her slicing him down yeah. or something. Because, like, I, I'm actually legitimately kind of disappointed that he was such a nothing on this route. And I'm sure, like, when I play the Dimitri route, it'll be completely different. But it's just, like... Yeah. The fact that you have Hilda coming over to say, I saw him run after the Imperials and then they stabbed him with their javelins. Yeah. What? It just feels like one hell of a cut corner. Because I, it would have been so much more satisfying if we take out Edelgard and he gets pissed on a, at... Well, yeah, if we killed Edelgard, he's like, you know, how dare you? She was mine. You know, you will die for this. Or you take both of them out and he's like, you know, I'm going after her. And then the next battle, you fight them again. And then he's like... And then you defeat her, or he kills himself on her. Or something like that. Something Or I wouldn't even mind it if he does the whole thing where he pursues her army. The Alliance arrives to see the two already battling. And then Edelgard kills Dimitri then and there. And she's like, you know, you're next, yeah. Claude. And something like that. Yeah. Just but something. Just, I don't know. We are angry. This I finished my thought from earlier. Yeah. I think this would have been more satisfying if we had been the ones to kill Dimitri. Oh yeah, like you meant, like you had mentioned when we, I suppose we took a little brief break there. Yeah, he had to get some water, but you mentioned that he could have turned into a monster. Yeah, he could we... have turned into a monster. The Empire could have like beat him down and then turned him into a monster. He could have gotten killed by Edelgard. Could have been a lot of things. They could have grabbed his body and turned him into a, a death knight. They might still be able to do that. That's what I was suggesting earlier. Yeah. Rawr, you took my 
you, you're Sorry. claiming it for yourself. Sorry. When, during the break, I had suggested it, that, yeah, if if he is dragged off, then potentially he could be turned to Death Knight. We still don't know what happened to Saros. Yeah. Or Rhea. Uh, they may have turned her into a monster under their thrall, or they could have stolen her crest, or... I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, let's just... Let's just sit back, enjoy, and In any then... case, we hate off-screen deaths. Yep. Especially as major characters. Other way. Why did he have to go like that? And his vassal, did do. And did he fall as well? I don't know. Your Highness. Your ambitions are my own now. I... I will bring you Edelgard's head. I swear it! Wait, so... Professor? Hmm. Claude? May I have a moment of your time? Lysithia, what are you doing up this late? Trouble sleeping? Wait, so... Dimitri dies and they have a off-screen cutscene-y thing of again. Of Dudu being like... I will take up your cause. Like, they could have at least had just, like, a basic illustration of him, like, holding Dimit Dimitri's, like, very dead body. I don't Unless know. the Empire carried it off. Yeah. To make into a I just fight. I wish they had allocated more of the budget from like some of these like I wish we couldn't have talked we couldn't talk to any of our students during like the exploration phase and they had dedicated the budget to for that to even just still cutscene. Just to show off some of these. Oh well. Anyway, that's understandable. Anyone would be shaken after such a brutal battle. If you're having trouble sleeping, you should drink some warm milk. That's a thing, right? Must you treat me like a child, simply because I'm awake a bit later than usual? <sighs> Actually, I can hardly muster any indignation right now. I wanted to tell you that I noticed something odd during that battle. What was it? There were some strange mages among the ranks of the Imperial Army. Did you notice them? The ones wearing masks? Mm hmm That's right. I have seen people dressed just like that before. It was a long time ago. House Ardelia was involved in a rebellion that took place within the Empire 13 years ago. After it was quelled, all of the key officials were caught and put to death. The Empire sent replacements, who they used to take control of House Ordelia. Among the people sent by the Empire were mages dressed in black, just like those we saw in battle. If they're Imperial mages, it makes sense that they would wear the same clothing, right? Yes, but the mages from back then and today, I do not believe they are from the Adrestian Empire. Are they Alliance mages? No. I got the impression that they were from somewhere else. Somewhere completely separate from Fodlin. There's more. Those mages imprisoned the children from my house and performed horrible rituals on them. Blood experiments. Lysithia, oh. you can't mean... even you? Yes. All of the others were deemed failures. They all died. And even I... That's how she got two crusts. It doesn't matter. The point is that those monsters possess dreadful knowledge and power. I just thought you should know the sort of people who have allied with the Empire. Blood experiments. Does that remind you of anything, Teach? Incident with Flane. Mm hmm Exactly. There was that secret group who abducted Flane and extracted her blood five years ago. The people involved back then were Tomas and Monica. Well, I suppose their true names were Solon and Kranya. So, that eerie group has been slithering behind the scenes in the Empire for a while now. Lysithia, thank you for sharing all of that with us. One day we will uncover the truth of who those people really are. Were they giving blood transfusions to try to make people have multiple Extra crests? crests? Potentially, yeah. Imagine we managed to invade Empire territory and emerge victorious in our first battle. 
I hope to maintain our momentum and push onward to Envar, the Imperial capital. Unfortunately, we are not legendary heroes in a fairy tale. Our stamina has limits. The longer we fight, the harder the fight will become. It will take immense effort to secure the supplies and soldiers we need to prevail. Boy, you better not be saying this is as far as we go. Of course not. However, the road ahead leads deep into enemy territory. It'll be a difficult journey, strewn with hardship. I can't guarantee that we'll make it out alive. If anyone wants to leave, now is the time to do it. I shall accompany you to the very end. After all, someone must step up to take leadership should you fall. I'm coming. The future of my village depends on this. Besides, <laughs> I have to protect the professor. For Captain Gerald. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> because of the Empire, my little sis can't live in peace. We can't leave the future of Fodlin to others. I'm sure that everyone here feels the same. The Knights of Seros will keep fighting the Empire. We won't rest until we rescue Lady Rhea. I feel the same as the Knights. I've got to rescue Lady Rhea no matter what. So what? We're all supposed to take turns saying we'll do our best until the very end? And what about you, Marianne? What will you do? I... I'll fight too. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I suppose I'll tag along too, until the bitter end. <laughs> it's an honor to keep fighting alongside such stalwart allies. Right, Teach? <laughs> I like that one. What, this? No, 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 no. I'd expect nothing less from my students. Hey, now, when you put it that way, it almost sounds like you're just praising yourself. <laughs> All right. Now that I know where each of you stands, I'm going to return to Alliance territory for a while. I intend to report this victory to the Alliance Lords and draw out even more support from them. Our next battle will be even more challenging, so brace yourselves for that. Hmm. I should write to my brother. He'll want to hear about our victory. Your brother, Lord Holst? How is he these days? Oh, he's doing great. I even got a letter from him before the last battle. He wanted to come and join our fight, too. What's this? Lord Holst come here? That would be a most reassuring development. Sadly, it sounds like my father was against the idea. They want him to stay in case they need to fight the Almirans. Their logic is sound, though it is vexing that the Alliance's greatest general cannot join us on the front lines. We should be glad that Holst is staying behind. Almira aside, there's also no guarantee that the Imperial forces won't try to launch a surprise attack from the Old Kingdom territory. Um, if you have something you need to talk to my brother about, I'd be happy to send a letter. No, that's okay. I'm just glad to hear he's doing well. Please send him my regards. <laughs> the Elmiron Prince would like to tell you. <laughs> <laughs>